Hello viewers, in this tutorial I'll show you how to send larger files to your friends or anyone using Dropbox. Emails don't allow you to send files larger than 25 megabytes, so this is the best way. Now open Dropbox.com and then you download the application. Just click on download and then the download will begin immediately. Alright, so I've already downloaded it, so I'm not going to continue the download. I'm going to use what I have. Now when you finish downloading, you double click on it to run. Double click on it to run as an application. You click on install and then application will be installed. The installation will follow the following the preceding um, process step that I'm going to take you through. And here you'll be asked to choose an account. If you don't have an account, um, you can choose the first option to register for an account. Yes, choose the first option to register for an account. Or you can go to their website and then sign up. They are all the same, or right, it depends on what you like. But in this tutorial, um, I'm going to use my own account since I've already registered. So you, you enter all the information that you require and you accept the terms and service. Yeah. So I, I have an account. I'm going to use my own account to demonstrate this. So I, you enter your email address and the password you use in um, signing up, not your email address or anything password. The password you use in signing up. Choose the, the speaker in advance. The advance will help you to change the installation location of your uh, the Dropbox, which I think is the best so that uh, when you format your computer, you can always get your files back without having to download them back. But in this tutorial, I'll leave it just like that. So just leave it, and if you choose a different location, you go and go and then choose the uh, synchronization, whatever. Click on next. Yeah, it's just, it's just a demonstration on how the Dropbox will appear on your desktop. Right. So click on next. How the interface will look like when you log on. And then, when right, so this is done, it will appear on your desktop. Yeah. So I'm going to upload a file. Which is large, larger than 25 megabytes. In fact, you can see, I think the size is 500 something. Right. The size is very large. Right, yeah. 582. So you can upload files uh, with, which are very large. And then you can share it with your friends. You can send it to them. Alright. So the size is very large. So I think if I have to upload it, it's going to, it's going to take a, a longer time. So. I'll pause it and I'll use the files that I've already done, uploaded in my, in my folder. That will be simple. But it works the same way. Alright. So I already have this folder. So when you want to send this folder to someone, right click on it. Alright. And then you click on share link. Alright. Click on share link. And these are the files that are in the folder. Now you can actually send files. So if you want to send more than one file, you zip them. You can import contact or send it to Facebook or Twitter. Facebook or Twitter. So it it it, it deals with uh, sending a uh, files and actually and folders. So in this tutorial I will instead of sending it to Facebook uh, or on Twitter, I'm going to show you how to send it to many people. Those who are not on Facebook. So here um, you click on the get link. And when you click on the get link, you see link copy to clipboard. So now that you have copied the link, uh, with this link, when you send it to anyone, immediately the person enters the link in the web browser, the person will be presented to, with an interface. Okay, yes, will be presented with an interface. The files that are in, in, the, in, the, in the folder, and then when you click on any of the file, you'll be asked to download. So this is the best way to send larger files to um, the friends and everyone. Thanks for watching and subscribe to this channel. Bye.